a hind leg walking bear, and a Japanese armpit fan? That can only mean one thing. It's What the Frick Wednesday. Hey guys, Joda Bear here. This is where I bring you weird stories from all around the globe every Wednesday. Let's go. Our first story takes us to Guiyang, which is located in the southeast part of China. The restaurant was new, and Liu wanted to advertise the restaurant in a different kind of way, so he adopted the pay what you want policy, which means that customers can pay what they want regardless of whatever meal they get. He soon found out that this was a bad idea, because after only 7 days, the restaurant lost 100,000 renminbi, which is equivalent to almost $15,000. Our next story takes us to the Garden State of New Jersey, located on the east coast of the United States. It's about a real stand-up bear, whose name is Petals. What got him famous is that he's a bear that walks on his hind legs through suburban neighborhoods throughout the New Jersey area. Unfortunately, Petals was killed by a hunter this week during a three-day bear hunting season that New Jersey opens for bows and arrows only. The local community is outraged, starting a Justice for Petals fan page on Facebook. Some people have gone so far as to send death threats to random hunters throughout the area. The page does have some pretty clever pictures though, this one being my favorite. I'm just wondering if there's going to be any uh, pussies out for pedals like there was dicks out for Harambe. Our third story takes us to the capital of the People's Republic of China, Beijing. It's located in the northeast part of China. Controversy struck when it found out that a boss requires women to line up at the workplace every single morning and kiss him on the lips. The China press reported that the women gave in to the demands just in order to keep their jobs. As you can see here, this is a clip of him kissing each individual woman right before they start work. Personally, I think this is pretty outrageous, but it is a very different culture. Anyway guys, let me know what you guys think in the comments about this whole situation. The next story involves our very own YouTube. A 12 year old boy from Spain whose dream was to become a popular YouTube star took a wild turn when he confused AdWords with Google AdSense. This mishap ended up with him receiving an astounding 100,000 euro bill. Lucky enough for the boy, Google released a statement saying that they were going to remove all charges from his account due to the age policy on the AdSense. Let me know what you guys think in the comments. I want to know what you guys would do if this happened to you. The final story takes us to a fast food restaurant in Australia called The Chicken Treat. The owner of the restaurant set up a chicken with a keyboard and left it to control its Twitter. The owner stated that he used this as a method of advertising to compete with popular competitors such as KFC and Popeyes. This method seemed to work, gaining massive social media coverage that flocked customers to his restaurant. After checking their Twitter now, it seems as if they let the chicken go and they've taken back control. So that ends the first episode of What the Frick Wednesday. If you guys enjoyed the content, throw me a like. And if you want to see this every Wednesday along with daily funny gaming videos, give me a little subscribe. Anyways guys, stay rad and thanks for watching. Thank you.